Hey kids, do you want to work for the street and post up? I mean, really, is this your dream job? Post up at a bus stop? Watch this. I live in the streets, and when you are in it, you know you are nothing. A pawn. Most will do anything for a dollar or a thousand dollars. A G. Look, children at every city where your uncles, aunts, grandmothers, and grandfathers are posted up. Look, children. Look how many actually live well or travel worldwide. People also post up in cafes and at public eateries. That's why I say end it all. By the way, did you know that a plug is the person who supplies drug dealers? Just look at that. People are posted up everywhere and they call it work. Is that what you want, kids? To go sit somewhere with a blanket over your head in a corner? Remember, a person who hooks up drug dealers is called a plug. The way I look at it, America is soft on evil crime and hard on soft crime. Why? This permits the power structure that is fundamentally evil to recruit budding criminals either into jail life or through the courts. They say choose red or blue as they throw their gym bag into your jail cell with blue shorts and a red shirt and be in our gang run by a few crooked evil cops or scare people into that military service. Yes, still today with the judges, it's either jail or military, says the judge to the young man or young woman, and they are steered into the crooked military via this practice. They're soft on hard criminals because the crooked judges and cops need evil villains on the streets to do their evil. So the monsters, they let the monsters out or they never even put them in. And the psychology of permitting continued slavery relies on the mechanism of chemical drugs and deceptive law, specifically having dirty police run the streets and getting the hatred of police riled up. They do it themselves. See the youth all hating cops, yet most cops are of good intention, yet the streets make it cool to hate because of police. Violence, that police violence is being rampant on the media when it really is the human violence that's rampant. Very few police are dirty or evil, whereas the streets promote overdose deaths and buying and selling human beings. Our brothers and sisters, they buy and sell and they promote it, all in the name of monetary gain, even murder of friends or family. Our country sends people to injury for mining or other, other industry. People are sent to die so that others can get resources and make money off the resources. Working on electricity, and, and well, this is a list that my friend put together of really dangerous jobs, more so than police. Logging, pilots, flight engineers, Roofers, construction helpers, crossing guards, garbage collectors, farm supervisors, delivery drivers, iron workers, farmers, cement masons, agricultural workers, construction supervisors, highway maintenance workers, grounds maintenance workers, mining machine operators, supervisors of mechanics, power line workers, construction workers, construction equipment operators, maintenance workers, heavy vehicle mechanics, crane operators, landscaping supervisors, and then police last. Those are jobs that will get you hurt or killed. Yet for some reason, we will not use the death penalty on monsters in our society. Super predators. I'm talking about murderers rapists, pedophiles, and human traffickers. Thus, in the interest of money, our culture accepts the risk of injury or death for workers and monetary gain 
yet we refuse injury or death in the name of justice or to say another way to protect our families and our communities. I just woke up from a dream here in Washington, D.C., where I live in a tent. I've been homeless for over four years, not paying rent or being on a lease. I've had a lot of damage to me done recently in the past year and a half by law enforcement in the local area, in the DMV, known as the District, Maryland and Virginia. Interestingly enough, we have a police force here in Washington, D.C. called the Metro Police. They're associated with the subway system. They have jurisdiction in Washington, D.C., Virginia, and Maryland. Now, I'm going to tell you something here that's very strange. On March 26th of this year, while I was in church, an event happened where I was teleported, also known as transmogrification or jumping. After which, I later went to take the subway system into Virginia, Reston, Virginia, where I grew up. The subway turned around underground between East Falls Church and Ballston and went all the way to Largo, Maryland. Then went all the way to the end of the Orange Line, Vienna. Then headed back in towards the city and between East Falls Church and Ballston turned around underground again until I reached Wheelie Avenue where I was taken off the subway train after some children stole an ounce of my weed. The police made me sit on the ground for 30 to 45 minutes and then let me go. I was later arrested at South Lake Shopping Center where I hang out still today. And I used to hang out as a child, even before it was built, it was a grass field I was there. They came and arrested me and put me in seclusion, solitary confinement, Sheol, the hole. I was let out after five days. I received no charges for that time. That was my third time in solitary confinement in Fairfax County. There's a lot more to this story. But what always see, saw me through last year, what sees me through, I know that people sit in cages their entire life for doing nothing. They go to prison for doing nothing in this country, in the United States. We have a system of justice that on the Supreme Court says all equal under the law. Well, what about the law or those above the law? What's happened to our United States is the whole medical system has drugged as many people as possible using party drugs and calling it medication. A lot of this originated in the 1980s during the Ronald Reagan administration when we had a so-called B-grade movie actor as our president coming from being a governor in California. We have this strange, strange capacity in the United States to overlook the truth. We are underpaid and cannot actually live in this country on the wages that are most people are receiving. And perhaps most troubling of all is I was just woken up from a dream, some call it a vision. And that vision is what some of my friends experienced as childhood. There's a group called whatever they're called and they use chanting. Omni Renge Kiyo, Omni Renge Kiyo. But then what they do is they put their hands on you and they put you in a room in a basement. And a lot of it started in Reston, Virginia, where these houses are built. Rows and rows of townhouses with basements where there's no way out. And they have small windows that go up through storm drain areas. And all you do is fill them in with dirt and you can't know who's in there. So start looking around at who goes missing. Start looking at your communities and neighborhoods where there's rows of townhouses with no way out. And start starting to think, begin to think, America. Oh yeah, when you're trying to decide which way to vote, don't vote right. Don't vote left. Vote forward. They call the Democrats and the Republicans left or right. The red, white, and blue flag, those seven red stripes are seven red stripes of blood. And those were the blood stripes given to slaves. Wake up, America. And oh yeah, I do live outside. 
and I do confront a lot of crap every day as a homeless man. I've been attacked, and I watch open air and drug and sex markets just here in Washington, D.C. Let's end it. Let's save our communities. Let's save our families. Let's save ourselves. She just yells at thin air all the time, cursing at people or yelling at people directly. Mostly just in thin air though. People need help. That's what people need, help. And this guy takes shits in public right over there. Even there's a Starbucks and stuff right in Subway right there that he uses all the time. Never seen it before. It's nice though, look. Stolen property, lots of it. You know, the, 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 the bus also goes all the way down there, you know? There's even a kitchen sink. Yeah, I, I the saw fuck that. You need, what the fuck you need a kitchen sink for? I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's always kind of weird people who act like they run shit walking through here. Is he one? See how they like they friends? People who steal art, fucking come at you with violence, hurt you, weird drug addicts and shit. Now fuck these people. They need to move so people can be safe. Twenty first Street Northwest between Virginia, between Virginia Avenue and E Street. If you're missing stolen property from the area, they're cleaning it up, throwing it out, finding all the old drugs and weird shit. And this guy here is a dick too. He tried to flex on me. Motherfucker tried to flex on me. He was walking out of here last night or the night before and I was smoking some weed. The fucking asshole. Trying to copy me too, making a little fence out of sticks and stuff. You can't copy, bro. And this guy. And that's the problem in life. It's the problem in life. Where do you do? Where do you go? Ain't nowhere to go. Even in DC, there ain't nowhere to go, is there? You know what I mean? You gotta put the flowers by the tree and just hope for it. And yo, what's really crazy is the dude who runs this camp just moved out He's called Scotland, Scarland, or Garland. And when I looked on Google Maps today to give somebody my location, it's actually pinned here as Scotland Jackson Camp. Pardon me, that's Camp Scotland Jackson. And my name's Nathaniel Shellhaze Vizdos.